Speed Control Methods of Induction Motor There are several methods employed for controlling the speed of AC induction motors. These are various speed control methods for induction motors. Voltage Control Method This method involves varying the voltage supplied to the induction motor. By changing the voltage, you can adjust the speed of the motor. Lowering the voltage reduces the speed, and increasing it speeds up the motor. Frequency Control Method Changing the frequency of the power supply alters the speed of an induction motor. Typically, this method is used in conjunction with variable frequency drives, VFDs, to control the motor's speed by adjusting the frequency of the AC power. Pole Changing Speed Control Induction motors can be designed with multiple sets of stator windings, each with a different number of poles. By switching between these windings, you can change the motor's speed. This method is common in applications where you need discrete speed levels. Stator resistance method. By inserting external resistors into the stator circuit, you can control the motor's speed. Increasing resistance reduces the voltage available to the stator, slowing down the motor. Rotor resistance control method. Similar to the stator resistance method, you can insert resistors into the rotor circuit to control speed. This method is useful for applications requiring high starting torque and variable speeds. Slip power recovery method. This method involves recovering energy from the slip power, the power dissipated in the rotor due to slip. By using additional equipment, this energy can be redirected potentially improving energy efficiency or providing dynamic braking. Cascading or tandem connection. In this method, two or more induction motors are mechanically coupled and electrically connected in a way that they share the load. By controlling the input power to these motors, you can adjust the speed of the entire system. This method is often used for applications that require a wide range of speeds. The choice of speed control method depends on the specific application, the required speed range, and the desired efficiency. Each method has its advantages and limitations, and the selection of the most appropriate method will depend on the specific needs of the motor-driven system.